Hi everyone, Arjun on page today and I've already started <laughs> and why did I start because I'm doing a just resist which is white on white and you can't see much of it. I've already done this uh, I stencil this mandala here and I'm working on a 240 gram paper. I'm I want to use some watercolors although you don't have to use watercolors I will talk about the options later and as I said I'm just stenciling with gesso so I will have a resist so I've got white gesso here and makeup sponge and I'm just taking a little bit on the sponge and dabbing the excess and just stenciling and I'm not uh, concerned about the quality of the image it's just so when I will put some paint on I will have variation and pattern in the back so as you can see quite reverting <laughs> white on white and that's it so as I said it, this is quite boring and you can't see uh, what you're doing my <laughs> I can see a uh, almost what I'm where I'm putting it and where I don't so I will from time to time lift my stencil just to check where I've been and where I need to put more gesso so I'm going to uh, continue uh, doing this off camera and I'll be back I'm back so I finished stenciling with the gesso and in the areas that left from the mandalas here and here I uh, continued stenciling with these uh, circles and I will bring it closer to the camera maybe you will see uh, the stenciling and now I want to use uh, on top of it some watercolors now I know that some of you don't like watercolors uh, you don't have to use it, uh, you can use sprays, you can use chalk pastels with water, anything that is water reactive will do. Now what I'm going to do is taking any kind of um, non-porous uh, substrate and I want to make some... <coughs> I want to make some... <laughs> areas with color but random so what I'm going to do is take some of the watercolors and I will demonstrate I'm just putting it like this adding water if I feel I need it and I'm gonna just flip it over like so and wherever it goes it goes and I can also continue and I can also add some water to let it spread now if you don't like this technique you can uh, take some of the watercolor and just go like this now as I said you can use sprays you can uh, spray it dire directly on your page or as I've done like uh, here on any kind of surface that will not soak in your uh, paint another technique uh, is to take plain uh, felt pens put them uh, like this spray it with water and then flip it over I will show you in a minute if I can reach something here we go just regular felt pan what we buy for the kids putting it on some water you can also use a what's it a, the <laughs> distress a, ink pads a, by Tim Holtz I just don't have a blue, a dark blue so I didn't use it but uh, I let's do one with this a uh, pine needle I will I like this color so I'll just clean what I've got 
here. So you can use this kind of uh, ink pads because they are again water reactive. So I can put it like this, spray it with water. and flip it over and let it just spread around randomly okay cleaning I want more of the blue so let's take some more of the blue Just a little bit more. And I'm going to let this dry before I continue. I want to see what's going on and build more layers of this kind of a putting paint on. So I'll be back. I'm back so this is dry but I want to keep building on top of it and it's a uh, the gesso resist is starting to show you can see a little bit of the details and I'm just going to take more of uh, the blue and I want it darker so I'm adding a little bit a uh, black And just gonna continue doing what I've done before um, until I'm satisfied with what's going on. So again, taking the blue, adding some black. I like the randomness of what's going on. Let's see. Let's. I'm going to uh, add now another color, more like turquoise. Ooh, a beautiful color. So I'm going to just add in more places from this. Lots and lots of mess. I like it. Let's see. Do I keep with the blue or <laughs> I don't know I think I will just add a little bit more blue and black I want a little bit more dramatic effect so I'm not afraid of uh, this going uh, to get really dark because I'm planning on lots of uh, lighter things on top, so. Okay, now I've got mostly black here. It would probably would look even better on a watercolor paper, but that's what I had uh, here in this journal, <laughs> so. Okay, so I just want to add a little bit uh, of a uh, ochre uh, <laughs> color into the back because I'm gonna I'm planning on using ochre and some orange on top. So I'm thinking of just uh, doing some 
ochre splatter here on top and everything is still wet so it also mixes and I like it so this is the beginning and I'm gonna let this dry completely before I'm continuing I'll be back I'm back so this is dry I don't know quite what you're you can see but the gesso resist just peaks in several places and I like it now I want to add more details I'm gonna start stamping and I've got this fossilized amber uh, distress uh, ink from Tim Holtz and again this is adding details it doesn't need to be overwhelming the page and I'm stamping quite randomly probably uh, most of it is gonna get covered don't care it's just building up the layers and adding interest to your page yeah so now I want some more details I'm gonna take some a uh, hand script a uh, stamp and I'm using now tuxedo black momento tuxedo black oops it's only details doesn't matter how good the print is Yeah, just the little details. Okay, so <laughs> next step, uh, I want some big circle here. And <clears throat> sorry, let's find something to make a circle. Where are my templates? I've got templates of circles. makes life easier let's see maybe this size I don't know maybe this one is a little bit bigger than I thought but never mind I'm going with this just going to trace the outer uh, line good enough okay so I've got one a uh, big circle and now I want to uh, I want to put some gesso in here I don't care if it activates whatever on the side I just want to put some of the white okay I don't, uh, I'm not trying to make it white completely. I think it's great that some of what underneath is peeking through and smearing and whatever. More variation, more fun, more interesting. Okay, so I've got this. Now I want some more circles, just smaller ones. And I've got this stencil so at least this is going to be easier let's take some gesso again 
someone asked me why do I use gesso and not um, white acrylic paint and the answer is that I like the finish of the gesso uh, I like it's more chalky it looks more chalky more matte and I don't know it's a good primer if I am if I decide that I want um, to put some paint on top that's the basic uh, purpose of the gesso being a primer so I've got one circle here let's let's overlap a little bit So once again, stenciling <laughs> gesso and it's boring. So I'm going to continue putting some circles on my page with gesso and then I'll be back. Okay, so got my circles. Now I want to uh, add color to them. I've got several, uh, again, a watercolors these are for kids <laughs> but I like the colors these are metallic ones there are just plain ones and basically I want ochres and orange and just playing with the colors I'm first time uh, dipping into this uh, gold don't know how much of it you will be able to see it seems like it never uh, does in a uh, when you're videoing you don't see all the shimmer and I'm uh, dipping my brush into water when I'm changing color and I'm just again quite randomly adding colors letting them mix I, do, I don't want one blob of color like now I've dipped into some burnt sienna I'm going to do all a uh, all the circles this way well this was supposed to be more orangey and I don't like it okay so just playing with the colors I'm going to continue doing this on all the circles and then I'll come back I'm back I, I finished coloring all the circles and I've added some more and now I want to, uh, to do something outside of them to make them more pronounced on the page and several ways to go about it I've got the black stabila all that I can go around and activate it with water I can use I've got some uh, water soluble oil pastels again maybe I will use uh, the black here and just one more option if you've got this um, very simple pens that has a uh, ink here then you can go around and spray it with water and it will activate and be smudged so I'll just uh, start with the Stabilo all I'm going around my circles not trying to be precise I'm gonna smudge it 
activate it with water and mix much just so you will see what I'm talking about I'm taking a brush with a little bit of water you can also use a q-tip if you're if you feel more in control so as you can see just smudging it taking a little bit more water I'm also getting inside a little bit mostly underneath so that's what I'm going to do to all the circles and I'll come back okay so this is finished now I want again more details into each of these uh, circles I'm gonna use the stencil just to make sure everything is in place and not outside the circle I'm going to use this Olive Grove Memento uh, ink pad if it doesn't uh, work if it's uh, I don't know if it would be uh, not noticeable enough then I will if not I will change to something else so I want to go with all kinds of clocks inside the circles so putting like this and stamping let's see how it works yeah that's nice I'm not looking for again not looking for a fine print just details switching to another one so it would be interesting and not the same stamp again and here is another one yeah switching <laughs> Let's see, here is one, trying to uh, match the stamp to the size of my circle, I got more, let's see, let's pick this one, I'm just switching so it would be more interesting otherwise it really doesn't matter I thought about uh, putting some text inside the circles or butterflies but decided on some uh, clocks let's see You can put whatever you want, any kind of detail on the inside. Okay, here I need to be uh, a little bit careful. I've got this circle. Not that it's that <laughs> uh, serious, but let's see if I can block some of it. Like so. Good enough moving on 
so I'm going <laughs> to do this kind of thing on all these circles this is left without a any kind of uh, stamping I want to put my focal image here so I'll be back okay so now some finishing touches I've got my butterfly that I want here and I want a little bit of shadow underneath so what I'm doing is I'm moving it a little bit uh, up and again just with the stabilo going around like so and a little bit here and I'm going to again activate it with water doesn't have to be precise or anything I will let this dry before I will glue down my uh, butterfly. Now I've got a quote that I want to go here. Every day is a moment to treasure. Just putting some glue on the back. Okay quote is here now I've got touches of gold here and here so I want it, it also to be in the background so I've got some gold acrylic paint here and I'm taking a fan brush with a little bit of water and I'm just going around my page and splattering with gold Yeah, let's put some <coughs> glue here. I'm only putting on the middle, I'm not concerned about it being glued all over. It's flat, it's in on this uh, page, good enough for me. Let's see. okay I think this is it maybe just yeah that's enough for me I'm really liking what's going on here I'm making a mess as always but this is it that's my page <laughs> i hope you liked it i hope you will try and do something uh, with this it was very fun to just put on some uh, splotches of uh, watercolors so thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now